It's not just artists that have to work together sometimes to put up a show. Galleries do that as well. It depends on what they're coming out with. Just like this next feature you're about to see. It's a collaborative effort from start to finish. Seven artists have to share the spotlight while Quintessence Gallery and the Mantis Place do the honors of bringing them all together under one roof. The exhibition is, is called Colors and Contours and I think that's reflected in the work here we've got um, the work is all very colorful and there's a very broad range of contemporary Nigerian art here um, the color, I think color is a common theme that we have here color and the human form so therefore the contours expressed through the human form the more abstract pieces again they're very much determined by contours by line shape and form it's a great exhibition which um, um, is featuring some of the um, contemporary Nigerian artists, you know, uh, it's a show organized by Quintessence Nigerian Limited, and I uh, think um, it's uh, featuring some of the artists that have been, you know, participating in their, in their, in their, in their programs. For an exhibition called Covers and Contours, which the organizers say is a celebration of the rich array of talent that exists in Nigeria. It's an idea we muted because we found a big space to exhibit works of art of seven artists. We came up with that theme because it is city-based. Colors on contour has to do with how we operate in the city. You see colors in the city, you also see different waves of how people behave, how people act, and how people uh, tend to move around. The artists are familiar names. Polia Lakija, Adiola Balogun, Promise Onali, Chika Idu, Diseye Tantwa, Omoligo Denta, and Godwin Ekaneme. Some recently had solo exhibitions and can hold their own as individuals. So the energy in the atmosphere is palpable. It's a milestone for me because um, being able to exhibit alongside Polia Lakija, um, Chikaidu, Diola Balogun, and the other artists I've been uh, admiring for a while is actually something, is actually something that is um, very, very intriguing for me as an artist. So. This is an opportunity for me to express myself and show my works to a wider audience than I've been doing before. Step out of the comfort zone and try to bring something new to the table. That's the approach some of them have taken for this exhibition. I, while doing that work, I noticed that while um, we have different Ankara, most of us use Ankara fabrics within Nigeria. And these Ankara fabrics, even though they are called African prints, but they are not actually usually produced here. In this particular show, I'm featuring um, about five works, and um, which are, are made up of um, mixed media works and um, uh, steel. There are two female artists in the mix. Amoligo, who made jaws drop in her last solo show. Her love for nature stands out like a sore thumb when one looks at her work, and there's so much attention to detail. While Paul is a people person whose passion for the African culture is written in her art. What I've tried to do is break down the elements of design, um, color, shape, and um, texture and all of that, and use them to interpret situations or things that I want to. For instance, the flower that's behind me um, is titled the Whistleblower's Flower, and for that I try to, the black um, petals in the background are supposed to represent 
the earth on which we rest and which we glean, um, get our oil and all of the many resources we have in Nigeria from. As you know, I'm a painter and I love working with the human figure um, and the human form. And that painting is a result of me having a drawing session with my lovely yoga teacher. Um, so she did a yoga practice for me, and so it was really just a drawing exercise. So she did a yoga session for me, and I was just asking her every couple of minutes just to keep still, hold a pose. And so I produced a whole series of sketches of movement. And for the gentlemen, unconventional furniture and sculptural pieces is what Godwin has turned out. While Promise is so fixated on the circle of life, we saw snippets of that in his solo show. But now, he adds a twist to it, asking more questions about life in his abstract pieces. I'm looking at the experience of um, dreaming something and watching it come to reality, to fruition. It's, it's an experience that's very, very endearing if you've been planning something for a long time and you've, walking, you've been working hard towards it. That experience of seeing it to fruition is quite orgasmic. So I'm relating that experience to, you know, that's, that's experience of passion and ecstasy. Chica's work talks about youth and innocence. That's how he expresses his love for children with his paint and brush. In this work, they're swimming and having a good time. A combination of all sorts best captures Adiola's pieces. The materials are unusual and the subjects are diverse from nature, politics, humanity and survival. If you look at the body of works you know, being exhibited today, uh, I actually use them as a, uh, a kind of metaphor to allude to some of the socio-political problems in our environment. Ready for some pop art? Then they say is a man. The simple things don't pass him by. He uses his art to capture the movement, spicing things up with some color. That's what these artists have served in covers and contours. to reveal our artist for this week. Uche Okeke was born on the 30th of April 1933 in Anambra State. He attended three primary schools in Kaduna, Onitsha, and Imo State, during which he had begun to demonstrate interest in drawing and painting. He studied fine and applied art at the Nigerian Institute of Science, Art and Technology, now called the Amadubelo University, Zaria, where he had participated in Nigerian drawings and paintings with Bernard Fag as a curator. Uche Okeke has created so many works like Signs of Life in 1962, Stations of the Cross 1 and 2, 1976, Flowers of the Primeval Forest, 1982. He has inspired so many Nigerian and African artists and even some of the world avant-garde. In 1958, he created the Asele Institute and Documentation Center, Nemo, Nigeria, and became a founder and director till date. He became an important person of the defiant movement, natural synthesis, and his ideas contained some of the most profound expressions in art. Uchiokeke has won about 11 awards, and some of which are 
poetry prize in a national literary competition 1960 british council busry award 1973 and the national award member of the federal republic by the then president olushegon obasanjo he died on the 5th of January 2016 in his native hometown, Nemo, Anambra State, at the age of 82. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. So let me know your thoughts about the group exhibitions you saw on today's program. What do you think about it? Hit me online on any of our platforms. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Have a lovely day.